Hello, I'm Michael Diamond. You're watching Muscle Central. Okay, we hear a lot of talk comparing the 90s bodybuilders versus today's bodybuilders. Uh, there's a, a portion of people out there that feel that the 90s bodybuilders' physiques were superior, better conditioning. They uh, they don't train as hard, they're lazy, and they don't train as hard today. That's what the big difference is with the physiques. Uh, that's not the case. Uh, I guarantee you, the guys today train hard. I'm not, we're not denying that they train hard. I think the physiques difference is has, has to do with the compounds that are being used as opposed to whether they're willing to put the work in and push it hard. But I do agree that today's bodybuilders are lazy and it has nothing to do with uh, the physique. When I say lazy, they don't, they're not out there competing. You got the guys that place top five placings in Olympia are automatically qualified for next year. They don't typically compete in other shows. They say with all for the one show, the Olympia, other guys strategically plan out which show they possibly win to qualify and then maybe they don't win uh, they'll work out some other scenario they'll try to compete in another show to qualify some guys do compete in multiple shows because they can't win and they want to get to the Olympia and they're trying to qualify on points but on a whole, guys don't compete that often anymore. There was a time back in the 90s, these guys competed. They competed many times through the, through the year. They would compete in consecutive shows almost week after week for a period of time or uh, every couple of weeks they and they managed to be able to peak. One of the arguments, one of the things that the bodybuilders today say is that, well, it's very difficult to peak for multiple shows. I have to disagree because it was commonplace back in the 90s. You have these guys go on a European tour, they were, there were times when, over a two-week period, they do five, six, seven shows within a two-week period. Uh, the guys were out there, they were competing. Uh, I understand that it's a little different now. Uh, you compete, you get prize money. That's how you make a living. And I understand that in this day and age, they have the social media outlets that you can monetize and make money. And the, the financial need to compete more often uh, might not be there depending on how big a social media following you have because you're generating revenue, YouTube, you're generating revi revenue. You should, these guys should be competing more often. Like I said, the excuse that it's tough to peak more than once a year. Uh, well, in the 90s, like I said, you could have a, these guys going on a European tour 
a whole a whole bunch of them traveling together doing uh multiple shows five six i guess like i said five six seven shows over a two week period and like i said they had no issue peaking and in many cases they got better as they competed uh maybe these guys will uh do better look better in some of the big shows if they compete a little more often a little closer together uh obviously it worked for the guys in the 90s uh try to not drag on too much with this uh i un like i said i understand that the financial need to compete more often might not be there because you're monetizing your social media. But if you look at it in a business perspective, besides a payday doing, uh, doing the show, you can actually help your social media because you can help increase your following. The more you're out there, the more you compete, the more of a following you can generate. And that will, in turn, generate more money to your social media that you have monetized. The fans want to see it and for, for the last time it's not that difficult to peak numerous times during the year because it was done on a regular basis in the 90s. Alright, uh, I guess you can call that a little bit of a rant. I'm done for now. I'm done with this. Uh, you might agree or disagree with what I've said. Either way, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share and by all means subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Also, if you go to the description box you'll find some links there one link is to the muscle central facebook page if you have any questions for me you can go there dm me i'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have also you find a link to species nutrition the best nutritional supplements on the market and mr potts protein the best protein pack snacks you're going to find on the market click on both links Go to both websites and check out all their great products. Once again, this is Michael Diamond. I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.